Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the TNT Podcast with Taj and Tori. My name is Tori. Got my brother here. How y'all doing? Say your name. Because you, right. you call me Taj, right. but my name's TJ, but you, I'm Taj to you, but TJ to everybody else. Okay. My name is Toy. Right now, we are excited to have on the show today, Courtney Butillion, eh? <laughs> oh my God, my fault. Courtney B- Butillion. Butlin. 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 Yeah. Butlin. Okay. Well, Courtney Butlin, who's on the South Women's <laughs> Soccer Team. So let's give her a warm welcome real quick. Let's, come on, I need more taps, right? Okay. Can we get, come on, man, jeez. Give her a warm welcome. You know, thank welcome you to you. the show. Come welcome on to the show. show. I know you're very busy, so, you know, appreciate you. And uh, so right now we are located here at LaSalle University. So before we get started, we want to make a quick little disclaimer. So um, all views, thoughts, and opinions expressed are our own. And do not express the views, thoughts, and opinions of LaSalle University. So without further ado, let's get to know Courtney a little bit. Let's, let's get to know Courtney a little bit. So, you know, first of all, thank you for coming on the show today. Really nice. appreciate it. It's been, coming through. it's been in the works for a minute. You know, yeah. I know, you know, we've been, you know, conversing a lot. Um, so I definitely appreciate it, you know. Um, so let's let's get let's let's talk about, you know, I know you're on the LaSalle women's soccer team. So let's talk about, you know, let's let's go back to when you was young. When did you first start playing soccer? You know what I mean? Let's let's go back. I only started playing soccer around fourteen. I was quite wow. late wow. to the game. Yeah. And I only started playing because my brother's team was short one day. And they just asked me to put uniform on and stand on the field. I used to play oh, field hockey, okay. and I used to run track and do, like, athletics and serve club and stuff. And then yeah. from that day, I never went back. Really? Well, yeah, I just kept playing soccer. So, like, you were just passionate about soccer more more than track and field hockey? Yeah. Really? Okay. Did you play both those sports in high school, or was it just soccer that you played? Um, I did track throughout high school as well. I saw okay. But nice. after... I stood in that game for my brother's team. I never ever went back to field hockey. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what, what was so different about, you know, because it's dudes, you know what I mean? So what was, was it a little, you know? I think tough? it's just because whatever my brother did, I had to do it and I had to do it better. Facts. So okay. I was like, same soccer, with me. No, I no it do is. It's the same. <laughs> yeah. Siblings like that. Are you the youngest yeah. or oldest? Youngest. Same. Yeah, so we, we definitely got that mentality. You said the youngest, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. Um, so I know that you're from Australia, right? Western Australia? Yeah, but I'm born in South Africa. Oh, what? Wow. Yeah, so I moved to Four. Australia Jeez. when I was seven. Okay. <laughs> and then I obviously moved out here for college at 18. So this is my third country I've lived in. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you're from South Africa, okay? Yeah. Okay, so, you know, what was, what's the, dyna- you, you first played in Australia? Yeah. So what's the difference between, like, Australia, and then like U.S. soccer, I guess. What's the or football? It's football. America corrected me, so he, he wants me to say football. So <laughs> football, I'll say football. Um, what's the difference between like you know Australian soccer and then like you know football? It's quite different because like for example, we don't have college soccer at all. Really? So like that's not a thing first and foremost. Mm-hmm. And you kind of just play what the equivalent here is like club soccer. Yeah. And where I live, I live in like the most isolated part of Australia, so. Soccer's, like, big, but it's not as big as, like, the U.S., for example. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, like, you know, how did, how did you end up playing? Because I know you was in Florida last year. How did you end up playing, you know, here in America? What made you really want to come to America, you know what I mean? So my dream was always to run college track. Really? And yeah. then I just obviously had to, like, reroute the dream. But, like, you can get a degree and play soccer at the same time. For sure. So I was like, why not? Definitely. Do that. You, you ran track, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I was not real young, but he was, seventh he was, grade. He was fast back in the morning. Yeah, fast. yeah. They um, I just didn't like running, so I didn't. <laughs> Is that the same for you? No, I actually running. like running. Really? I'm crazy. I, I could, <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is I'm fast, but, like, I could – that's why they only had me do sprints. They didn't only have me do sprints, but – like running long distance is not my thing. It hurts my legs, so um, because I'm double jointed, so like running for long distance hurts. So I, that's why I didn't really like running like that. Would you, would you say you're fast? You think? Yeah. Really fast? <laughs> yeah. So like you like you came first like every race. Um, basically. Yeah. Well, when I used to run, I used to be like I hold an under twelve world record for like this event. It's called the park run, like the five k fun run. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's just my Dang. fun fact. Wow. How many seconds? Uh, I'd run it in like 1907. I was like 12 years old though. Was or it like 11? Was it the 100 or the 200? No, like or? 5k, like five, distance. Oh, five. Oh. Yeah. Wow. 
distance. And then I switched over later on to wow. like sprinting. But we got a little Olympic athlete in the house tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's crazy. What the heck? I thought she was. I thought she was talking about um. Short distance run. She said no, five, yeah. 19 five, minutes for a 5K. Five, five, five 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 that's OD. <laughs> I'm Christ. not even going to lie. That's OD. Nah, that's, that's like OD. crazy. Yeah. Like you said, you're a little crazy. Yeah. Um, so talk about, like, do you think, you know, because soccer, you know, you're running all over the place. You know what I mean? Do you think track really helped you a lot with, uh, you know, with your, how do you say it? Endurance. Endurance, yeah. Uh -huh. With your endurance and all that while, you know, playing games and training and all that, you think? No, definitely. Like, yeah. we run so much. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like I always have a little bit of an upper hand because mm -hmm. I've already got that natural, like, athleticism behind right. me. So, like, you, you think, like, y'all compete who's fastest on the team, like, on the women's soccer team, you think? And, like, are they, like, jealous or whatever? Like, you know I mean, mean, like, I always finish in the top two in fitness testing, so... Wow. Shout out to Evie. I'm not surprised she's a, about she's that. She's a beast. <laughs> well, yeah. Evie? Okay. Yeah. yeah sure. Um, okay, so let's get back to, you know, what was, like, you know, what's what's the biggest adjustment you think you've made in order from, like, coming to, like, Australia, South Africa, you know, what's the biggest adjustment you think you had to make in order to come to the U.S., you think? Is it the weather? Is it the, you know what I mean? What's, what's, what is it for you? Um, Florida, for me, wasn't really a weather adjustment. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's Florida. Yeah, 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 I would say Philly's been a weather adjustment. Does yeah. not get this cold at home, ever. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. I would also just say, like, besides, like, conditions, like, obviously Philly's like a city. I've never lived in a city before. Really? I lived in a little mm -hmm. country town. Yeah. So this, Whoa. for me, is, like, a whole new world. Jeez. And the population in Australia is really, really small. So whenever I go anywhere, there's, like, all these people everywhere all the time. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you really realise yeah. a lot when you, like, move. So how do you think Philly's treating you? How do you, you like Philly so far? What do, you, what do you think? Be honest. Be as honest. Cause it's I didn't like Philly when I first got here. I really? was like, mm. oh, I'm so ready to go back to Florida. But <laughs> the more time I've spent here, the more I've like discovered like good spots and like what I like to do here. And yeah. yeah. Was it more so weather related or food related or what was it about? It? That it was the, the, the biggest culture adjustment. here. You had to. You know yeah, the culture. Mean? Culture's different, but culture's also different wherever you go. Like yeah, yeah. even That's true. versus Florida, it's like mm. yeah. <laughs> For sure. Um, now, I asked America this. Mm -hmm. Have you had a cheesesteak yet? I have. I had right. it at Dallas. Dallas Angels? Angels? No, I okay. don't like them. <laughs> really? What? See, like, I, in my I, opinion. Go, 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 go ahead, go ahead. In my opinion, I think, and I got, I took, I took some heat from this. Gino's is the best. I'm sorry. No, Gino's, I didn't like those ones either. You're crazy. No, Del Angels, their bread is like soggy. And I don't like, they I like the bread. <laughs> oh, really? Gino's no, I'm, because like, I'm, 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 I'm very, I'm a picky eater in general, but like, Especially with cheesesteaks, I'm not really the biggest fan of cheesesteaks. Like, it got to be a – for me, Delisandro's, like, I got to have Delisandro's. They're the best I've had so far. Bro, I can't stand a soggy. Like, it's just all over the place. I don't feel like it's soggy. I don't feel like it's that soggy. Bro, it's like – It's quite soggy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. A, li a little bit. A little bit. A little I bit. might like it soggy. That you might like, be what you, did you get, like, Keys Whiz? What did you get? I don't even yeah. know. My teammate ordered it really? with me. All right, so you got to get Keys Whiz. got to get a little bit of onion and the ketchup. That's, that's, I don't that's be getting all of it. Bro, Not the onions. That, that's a normal cheese thing. What are you talking about? You mean? I, I don't like onions on my cheese steak. It's a little bit of onion cheese. I begin the ketchup you can tell and the cheese with it. Yeah, I'm very picky. <laughs> right. I'm you know very I mean? picky. So obviously, you know, you're a student athlete. You know, you juggle a lot of things um, as far as academics. Um, you know, you got, let's say, 6 a.m. practice. You know, I don't know how y'all do it, but, you know, um, 6 a.m. practice, then after practice, Gotta go straight to class, you know what I mean? So what do you think, like, what's, like, for you, what do you think is, like, a t typical day in life okay. for Courtney BT? Wait, Courtney, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Courtney Butlian, Butlian. okay. Yeah. What's the what's the day in life for Courtney Butlian? Um, all right, this semester would be wake up at 6, be at the field at, like, latest at 6.20, okay. then we practice until 8, and then go straight to lift, and then it's about, like, 9.30. Oh. And I'm like, okay, I'm hungry. <laughs> so I gotta go get <laughs> some get food this, yeah. and coffee. And then I have class. And then I have three classes back to back. So I go to all my classes. And then my last class finished at 2.50. So I'm to go eat some lunch. And then I go to the training room. And then I might do extra like touches or go for a run or something. And then I get home at like six and then gotta walk to the dining hall as well. So I really only get home at like seven. Really? Wow. Yeah. 
thing to like to you, load a schedule. Yo, what? Are you kidding me? Do you feel like was it kind of hard like adjusting to the schedule? You think, or did you adjust well since you, you know, been to a comedy um, before? it has its ups and downs. Like some weeks are way easier than others, but yeah, like, some weeks you just feel like. Like, I just wanted to have a nap. <laughs> mm-hmm. do, do you get those times where you just get alone time to yourself? Do you think, you, or do you think you don't get enough of it? What do you think? Um, we get on the weekends, yeah. but it's like, when it gets to the weekend, you have all this time and you're like, what now? Yeah. Because you're used to yeah. like, going, 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 and then mm-hmm. it gets to the weekend, you're like, wait, <laughs> I don't even have to wake up. You kind of <laughs> feel stagnant, kind of, because yeah. you have all this free time. And, and then you get bored really easy, yeah, because you're like, for sure. what now? Like, yeah. um, uh, um, so, like, do you think, uh, are you a, a morning person or a night owl? What do you, what do you think? Um, I'm definitely not a morning person. Really? My family will 100% back that up. <laughs> like, don't talk to me first in the morning, <laughs> please. For sure. No, that's, please. That's, 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 no, I'm not a morning, but, like, since I have my 9 to 5, like, I got it. I got used to getting up early, but still, like, even to this day, I'm like, nah, don't talk. Don't talk to me until, like, I'm ready, so, like, I have my stuff, and, like, you know, till I'm settled. Mine is don't talk to me until I have my coffee. <laughs> yeah. But then there's some mornings you just have, like, some crackhead energy out of nowhere. Word, no fact. I'm, <laughs> I'm that way. Like, sometimes I'll have, like, just a burst of energy, and I'll just start annoying him. He just goes behind me. Like, no, that's usually at, like, at... Late at night like, or listen. early, like at the weirdest type of hours, like two, three a.m. They'll come <laughs> in my room, and we'll we'll be talking until like the, that's, the and that's sun why, come up. That's why we're here. Yeah. Um, because I don't know. I'm, I hate being bored. I have to be busy. I don't know why. It's just weird. Like I'm a social person, so I love talking to people. No, that's me. Word <laughs> facts, right? And like sometimes I just I just be like alone, like in my room, like. I just, I just all of a sudden just walk to his room like, hey, Todd, what are you doing yeah. today? Like, and, I'm, and, I'm I, and I'm the opposite. I don't, he just, he, he hates me for doing that. He, I don't hate he, you. Like, get out of here. I'm like, bro, I don't hate you. I can't talk to you. Please. I don't. You be coming in at the at the weirdest times. I'll just bro. be like, yo, why are you in here, bro? <laughs> Whatever, bro. Bro. Oh it's all, it's see, all, it's all good. I, like, but see, I put up with it because he's my brother and I love him. You know. Right, whatever. Do you put up with this with your with your? Is it? I say my brother's the same. He's like. Really? Not as outgoing as me, and mm. very just like. How so, many? How many is there? It's just two, one. Two, 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 same. Yeah. Oh, so she knows that she knows how it is. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the same, same type of dynamic. Yeah. yeah. I grew up annoying him. Like it was my, it was <laughs> my job. Me too. Me too. Full time job. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's get back to soccer. Um, you know, I know it's your first year being here. Um, what has been? Because I know you're in spring season, right? Yeah. So what has been so far your favorite memory? Because um. I remember when I first saw you, I remember that picture. Like you was like in the uh, the student section. Yeah. That was like a that was like a good picture and you was just smiling and like all the students were like hugging you and all that. What was your favorite memory for you so far being here at South University? Um, honestly when my parents came to surprise oh me at Fordham. I saw that. I yeah, saw that. that was I did my research. Right? That was my favorite really? in, memory. In New York, Bro. right? Yeah, in the Bronx. Damn. And I had no idea. Yeah. And then yeah, and then I just played like one of the best games of my life. Really? Wow. So was, how many goals are you talk? How many goals are you talk? I didn't score that game, but okay. like impact on the game Facts. was high. Facts. And I almost scored this banger from like just past halfway, but really? no one will understand to this day how the keeper got to that. <laughs> like she didn't save any of the really easy goals, but mm-hmm. that goal they it, were like, it just had to be you. you yeah. Know what I mean? It just had to be you. But yeah, nothing will take away from that day. Really? That was pretty special. Yeah, for sure, I love that. Wow. Where did they come from? They came from Australia. Australia. Yep. Nice. They wow. came straight off the plane too. Like wow. they spent two days flying and then just got straight Stayed in the high house. Shout out the parents, yeah. real quick. Shout them. You know, I know y'all. Shout out mom and dad. And my, bro- my brother came from New Zealand Jeez. for it as well. Wow. Yeah. So like, how about the support system you have with your parents? You know, I know you're an international student, obviously. Um, do you feel like you know? Do you talk to them a lot? You know, I know you're very busy a lot. You sometimes miss that dynamic of like just not being with your parents. You know what I mean? How's that? Um, me personally, I'm a huge family person. Same. So mm-hmm. I FaceTime them every single day. Like really? my parents, especially my dad. Yeah. Um, that's been the hardest thing is being away from them because like, they're literally like my everything. Yeah. So there's been days I'm like, like girls yeah. on my team are always going home and I'm just like, oh, I wish. That sucks. Like, and then the first two years when I lived in America, I couldn't go home, so I didn't spend Christmas. I spent mm-hmm. my first Christmas in three years with them this past December. So that was really special for me. For sure. Wow. I love that. Um, you know, what are some of the ways you, like, kind of cope with that? Is it? Do you feel like you have that support system within, you know, your team as, like, it's like a sisterhood, you think? Like, with, with yeah. All of them? Our team's, like, got a really good family really? dynamic. 
but also like at my old school like my teammates were my family Definitely. and one of my friends like my best friends from the school Kaylee her parents just took us in wow. to their house like every single weekend yeah. wow. and whenever I go there they just say oh welcome home yeah and like I also have I call them my adoptive family in Florida so my dad's best friend from when he was like younger in um, South Africa they live in Florida as well mm-hmm. and wow. I spent Christmas and everything with them. They even took me on family holiday with them. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, you so I've got I've got family yeah. away from like family for me isn't always blood. For sure. Like yeah, it's good to have like a support systems from wherever you mm-hmm. are. Just yeah. Um, I, I want to briefly talk about your time in Florida. Um, I saw, you know, you you won the, the state championship, right? No, we won nationals. <laughs> Yeah. My bad. She said, 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 I remember Tyler were like shooting on goal and we had like four girls on the goal line and the goal just like it was just frantic <laughs> and then wow. yeah we just pulled through and they didn't lose a game in 52 games so it was Ooh. a huge win for us <laughs> they won the last four years in a row or something oh, wow. so it was like a dog fight like it was like, yeah was it pretty <laughs> yeah. physical um yeah they are a pretty physical team wow for yeah. sure but that was that was such a great yeah. day like sure. was that like yeah. the most like your memorable time here one of them yeah. definitely because like nothing can take away from winning that ring and the feeling of just like celebrating the team like after we won my i was on the bottom of the dog pile yeah, yeah. i was mm-hmm. just every single person even all the, like our fans and stuff that came mm-hmm. just like everyone on top of me and then one teammate like grabbed my hearing aids because yeah, yeah. i was just yeah. crushed wow. and i was like no nah, this is this is one of the best moments of my life mm-hmm. for sure for sure um no i'm sorry but you, what, what's your position? I'm a forward. Forward. Yes. It says midfield. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I can so, play midfield, but really? I prefer like a nine role, which is like a striker. Really? But okay. also play on the wing. So what do you think are like some of the most important skills you have as, you know, as important things that you, should, you need to learn in order to like be successful for the team, you know, um, try to put the team in a good spot? What do you think are some of the things that you have to do, you know? Um, you have to have like the work ethic first definitely, and foremost definitely. and then you have to have just like the hunger to score goals because you're not going to win unless you score yeah and just like being creative mm-hmm. with your runs and like just working hard like when you lose the ball like winning it back and it's quite physical as well like soccer's more physical than a lot of people like yeah. in their head yeah. think that it is yeah like after our game at Cherry Hill on Wednesday, I woke up and I had like six different bruises and they were like this big. I was like, damn, yeah. <laughs> they grass fed at Lafayette. We're, we're from that area, Cherry Hill. Um, okay. So, you know, um, you think, you know, you're used to playing it, you're used to everything like that. Who, who, who's, a, who's like a person you really look up to in the football community, in the soccer community? You think that I would like, say you know? Sadio Mane. He plays, he moved from Liverpool to, I think, Bayern Munich. I could yeah. be wrong. But like, I just like his... So he donates almost every one of his paychecks back to Senegal. Wow. And he's built, oh, like, wow. schools and hospitals. I just think he's a great yeah. human. Or, 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 or yeah. 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 Okay. Um, you know, I want to kind of shift gears a little bit. Um, you know, to be honest, how I found you was a couple months ago, right? You know, I saw on, I was on my Instagram, and I saw a lot of people just reposting a, 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 a post that you did. And it was about, you know, you talking about, you know, you was born partly deaf. You know what I mean? And talking about, like, you have a hearing aid. You know what I mean? Um, And I kind of, you know, I don't want to get too personal, but I kind of gravitate towards that because, you know, I'm obviously, I'm different too. You know, I'm a little person, whatever. Um, So I wanted to, like, kind of get your your story on that. You know what I mean? Like, how did you kind of adjust, you know, obviously you're different from other people out there. Um, Obviously, like, playing soccer with it too, it has to be kind of annoying, you know know what I mean? So talk about the story of, you know, you being, you know, partly deaf. So I was born with like, it's called glue ears. Mm-hmm. And then I had like surgery, my first surgery at three months old. Wow. And I put, they put grommets in my ears and they were supposed to like work. And then for many years, like we never, 
they were just expected to work. Mm -hmm. And then I used to get told off a lot when I was growing up for not like listening to anyone and like my teachers would kick me out of class oh. for not hearing yeah. or like, because so, they were like, you're not listening. And I'm like, I can't hear. Exactly. Yeah. They, they didn't know like beforehand? No. Which, but you, then, you didn't know either at the time either, right? No, like exactly. I was just told. Oh, so you didn't, you didn't specifically know what was No, they were just telling me like, oh, that would have worked. And then, oh. so then one day wow. at the doctors, I had to do like a full like checkup, whatever, right. had a hearing test ironically enough and my mom goes oh you actually are dead <laughs> uh, and then after that not, not yeah. Yeah. so you didn't fully find out until like a couple no, until of years a few years later on and for so long before that i would tell my mom i can't hear yeah. she'd be like you just in your like little naughty phase that's like that's, that's our mom like that's just being rebellious our, like yeah. and they were thinking like why are you being a bad kid at school like we don't want you to be a bad kid and i'm like i can't hear <laughs> wow exactly and then yeah then i started seeing like all the audiologists like I had to go see the top audiologist in my state and do all the tests and like all the logistical side and it was the process and then for like when I got the hearing aids I didn't want to wear them yeah. I was like yeah. embarrassed obviously oh, yeah. I feel you. and I didn't tell people for years like if I would just met you or like you're my friend for like two years I still wouldn't tell you yeah well, so I... many people would be like why are you so rude you never listen and I'm like <laughs> It's crazy. If, if, if you knew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Is it is it hard feeling? I don't know. Like different. I don't want to. I, I don't want to speak. I, I know from personal. You know. It, yeah. Is it, it hard is. just being what do you, what do you just being you? misunderstood? Yeah. Like is that uh, kind of Whenever hard? I walk into a room, the I've had to like change the way I think because the first thing I think about is everyone's looking at my hearing aids. Wow. And then when people like talk to me, I'm already like nervous because I'm like, I'm gonna say something, gonna say something, then I don't yeah. hear them, and I'm like, I don't want to ask them to like repeat Nothing. what they're saying, and yeah, but. This year and last year, I really like accepted it. Accepted it, really. Because I'm like, I can't change it. Yeah, for sure. And like, God, God gave so you me only yeah. recently came to terms with. Yeah, okay. and then for like my class last semester, I had to build a website as part of our final project. Really? And I was yeah. like, oh, this is a perfect opportunity to finally like, because I can use it to change other people's lives. Exactly. Because yeah. right. that's what that's my main like goal in life is to go pro, so I can show like younger kids in my position that like they can do it too because mm -hmm. I could give up at any point because on the field I barely hear anything like honestly yeah and like with having hearing loss comes like processing disorders like when you tell me something naturally it's going to take me longer to like understand like certain types because of, of drills or yeah because you yeah. got to like process like oh did I hear that right or like mm. what did they say and then it's like going through your head so like sometimes a bit slow <laughs> happens. <laughs> yeah, it happens you shouldn't i feel like you shouldn't beat yourself up for it. yeah it's not your fault exactly. this is just you know. you know what i mean um so talk about like what really made you kind of you know want to be open to it you know want to like you know do that post obviously um what really made you want to be so open to like you know like talking about it now you think because i have like well i i know i'm like different mm -hmm. and like I can use it though to help other help people other that people. have been yep. I don't want anyone to feel the way I felt some days like exactly. some days I'm like no that's actually so embarrassing like don't even go outside mm -hmm. or like oh. I'd w change my hair a certain way so like no one can see them mm -hmm. or like I just always wanted to feel like I fit it in, fit in. Yep. but Definitely. you just don't mm -hmm. and that's also fine like I've come to terms with like I'm different and it's actually okay I to be that. different because I bring my own sure. like my, I don't know the word. My yeah, own yeah, something. Yeah, I know. We know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, what you mean. And then obviously, you could like inspire other kids that have the same thing like you too. So like, you know, even for me, like I'm, I'm doing this. You know, I want to, I want other people to be like, hey, like, you know, that's, that's right. me. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Do the same thing I want to do. You representation. Know I mean? Exactly. You know representation saying? matters. You know yeah. I, mean? right. I feel like, as like humans in general, you shouldn't be like ashamed of who you are as a person. Because I'm a big believer in God. Like, you know, yeah. I feel like God made me this way for a reason. No, I, you know I, I mean? truly believe that as well. Yeah. Like, I feel like God made me this way to, because He knew that I could like yes. help other people. If I can even just influence one other person, then I'll be like, well, yeah. I did that. Like, that yeah. feels good. He gave you that gift for a reason. Now you play yeah. soccer and all that. You know what I mean? So that's you know, um, real quick, talk about your you know your, your website real quick. Talk, talk about you know where can people like look at it? You know. Um, <laughs> there's a link in my Instagram bio. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I just made it on like a Wix website because mm. that's what we had to do for class. Yeah. And I was like, I've always wanted to do something about like a story about me, but I've just never had the like courage. And then actually my computer science teacher was like, oh, what's your idea for your website? And I was like, this might sound crazy, but like this is it. And he sat down with me for like an hour talking about it. And I was wow. like, it really helped me to like do something about it. Right. Because like... 
so many people don't talk about stuff and they just hold on Definitely. to it forever. Yeah, that's that's yeah. not good, yeah. Yeah, right. and I just want to show other people, like, they don't even have to be deaf. They can have a different problem mm-hmm. and just say, like, here's the courage. Like, mm-hmm. you're okay. Everyone's okay. And, like, you're actually just helping those around you without that's even right. noticing. For yeah. sure. I love that. Yeah, um, we'll be I, sure to tag your Instagram. For sure. And, Definitely you know. works everything on. Yeah. You know, because I can, I can relate to your story, you know. That's why I really wanted to have you on because I feel like people need to know you know yeah. what, what you've been through or whatever and talk about you know i want to give a platform for you you know what i mean um so i definitely that was the reason one of the reasons why i want to have you on um you know and let's let's go back to you know soccer for a little bit um in academics um how do you think you balance academics and all that do you think you you have a fair share of balancing it a lot or do you think you still struggle with i feel like i'm two? pretty good at balancing them really? last semester was a big adjustment for yeah. me i had six classes in the season Jeez. and wow. So the workload, I was in the library, like, every single night, and I was, like, at my old school, I just went to a JUCO, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, like, school wasn't that hard, and it's, like, I come here, and it's, like, a bit more serious, you know? Deep Division One. Yeah, yeah. and I don't want to have bad grades, so... For sure. I always put in extra, like, Mm -hmm. work. Definitely. Um, I want to go back to your family real quick. Who do you think is, like, the biggest motivator for you? Like, who is definitely your family, obviously. But who do you think is that person that really pushes you a lot to like, you know, be successful as, as whatever you want to do, soccer, academically? Uh, who is that one person you could really go to and, and to get advice, anything like that? Who is that person for you? For sure, my dad. Really? <laughs> yeah. Is, is he hard on you? Is he hard he's on you? hard on me, but he's also like my number one Definitely. fan, and Definitely. I feel like he knows me better than anyone else on this planet. So like. He also just sometimes knows what I'm thinking. Like, he knows really? my thought process. Wow. Like, he he just knows me like that. And mm. he knows what I want from this, like, life. So, like, some days when I'd be like, oh, I don't want to keep doing it. He's like, just remember why I started. Like, mm. can't give up now. And so, yeah, he's hard on me because he knows that I expect. Yeah, he knows that you can do it. Yeah, yeah. I want more things out of life than, I guess, the average person. So Definitely. That's mm-hmm. a good mentality to have. Yeah. You know? um, so, looking ahead. No, what what are you a sophomore now? I'm a, a junior. Junior, okay. Yeah. Um. So looking ahead, you know, you have one more year left. You know, so what what do you think are some of the goals you have for the rest of your college career, um, and, and in the future too? Um, what do you think you hope to achieve in the next few years for Courtney Butley? And I got it right. Yeah, got it right. I did. Got it right. <laughs> um, obviously next season's gonna be a big one because I'm gonna be a senior and we've got we had like four people transfer so we mm. really building something special this spring okay. I feel like our teams really come together so I'm hoping that obviously a 10 championship gotta aim sure. gotta aim gotta high aim, gotta, aim. gotta aim high gotta shoot for the stars yeah alright you know and then after that my goal ultimately at the end of the day is to go pro okay. and then nice. I wanna open my own this is like not soccer related but yeah. I wanna open my own like cafe slash like uh, vintage clothing, oh, nice. sneaker you store. Talk about, like, I'm not gonna lie. Do you remember <laughs> yeah. the first time I like had an interaction with you? No. You know, dang. I saw you like outside next to the library, and I was like, wait, he low key drippy. I'm like, yo, wait, he, you had on like a, a like a, a, a plain blue hoodie, mm-hmm. and like I think it was like a, a, a vest too, and then like the matching sweatpants to match it. I was like, what the heck? She was like, he drippy like today, like so. I like to make stuff as well. Uh, like I yeah. make jeans sometimes Whoa. and just. I don't know. Really? Yeah, I like fashion. I really I, like I, fashion. I love, I love yeah. fashion. Yeah. yeah. Like, I love to look nice. Like, we both love, but he's a real, yeah, he's a real drippy one. Money on clothes. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that, but um, uh, where do you think, like, you know, talk about a little bit about your fashion sense. Where, where does that come from, you think? Because um, I ain't going to, you be, I need some help. You, you be drippy. Like, I'm not even going to. Honestly, that. I don't even know. Because, like, in Australia, the fashion's way different really? to America. Okay. And I felt like, obviously, as dealing with the hearing and stuff as well I did whatever I could to fit in mm-hmm. so like in Australia everyone's a really like more indie alternative I would mm-hmm. say so I always felt like I had to dress that way so I could like fit in because like I was okay. always worried like obviously already having like the hearing thing like oh I'll do whatever I can to like fit in and then when I came to America I was like I never wore any single thing I bought in my suitcase from Australia really? like any of it so I don't even know I just see stuff and it, like when I see something like in the store, I already create the outfit in my head, or like I like to scrapbook stuff. I don't okay. know. 
Because um, nice. our mom, not to get a little sidetracked, she works in the fashion industry. Okay. So that's that that's a big reason why we, well, especially me, because it's funny you say that, because that's the same reason why I, I'm not really into this fashion yeah, industry. I, I, look, I look at certain celebrities, like, see what they're wearing, too. Yeah, that's um, why I do Pinterest. Yeah. Fact, it's my fact. best friend. <laughs> yeah, but, um, but, but me, like, I like wearing stuff that fits me, and I like looking for stuff that fits me. Mm-hmm. So, like, when you get started with, like, you know, the store and everything, let me know so we could, like, Word, you know, for sure. Um, that would be pretty cool. You know, uh, I, I like to wear stuff that pops and like pops my skin, you know, my height too. Like yeah. I, need stuff to be I just look for stuff that fits me. Well, I, I like, to, uh, I like yeah. to be out there. I, I just don't like to have the same things as anyone same. else. Same. I can't. Right. I can't. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I hate that. I when yeah. I whenever yeah. I see somebody that got the same thing as, as me, I'm like, yeah, I, I can't wear that. Now. Yeah, like, but for me, like, I was kind of piggybacking off of her point because she said like a big reason why I care so much is because I am self conscious. Mm-hmm. So like. I just be worrying about like I don't know like I feel like I shouldn't but like I be worrying about like the way people perceive me too. So, like, I, I don't like, care. I can relate to that. I don't care at all. Like whatever I, don't whatever care I like, anymore, I like. But I, you know. Like when a few years ago I used to care what everyone used really? to think of me and I'd be like, couldn't even like what would they think of this outfit or like what are yeah, you gonna say about this or like I, I still be like that. Where? Yeah. Do you get a lot? Because I be seeing. Some days I've like some days you can't help. I think like oh everyone's mm-hmm. like looking at me or they're thinking something, mm-hmm. but you just gotta remember like everyone's also so in their own world For like sure. they don't actually and people are not even like you know like you said yeah. people are not really thinking about you like that you yeah. know what I mean yeah. you make it worse in your head yeah and honestly people are going to think things about you anyway so just do you I exactly think. For real, for real. It's, it's been a long road to accept stuff right. like that For sure. yeah Definitely. Yeah, but, um, do, you, do you feel like you overthink a lot in certain situations you feel like yeah I, I'm that sure. way I'm yeah. that way what are you kidding me yeah um you know so what do you think are some of the lessons you feel like you know your parents gave you obviously in order to, for to bring back to America, bring back to college, whatever. What do you think are some of those things that your parents kind of instilled in you in order to like you know have a good work work ethic yeah. and all that? What do you think are some of the things for you? Um, definitely, they just they've told me like have respect for everyone, hmm. like respect all those around you, um, and just like they've always given me the sense of independence because I've seen a lot of people come to college and like. Yeah. It's a big shift for them, but like when you, especially when you're international, at the end of the day, you only have yourself. You don't have anyone to like lean on. Like your mom's not gonna do your laundry if you Heck forget. Yeah. If you don't we go to, about that, we yeah. just yeah. About that. If you don't go to class, like no, no one's yeah. gonna be, no you one's gonna do tell all you that off. On like maybe your coaches, obviously, and stuff. But like you don't have your parents like looking over you all the time, and you really only have yourself. At the end of the day, like you're going through stuff. You really like yeah, you have your teammates, but you really learn to like how can I get through this. I don't know. Sure. You build gotta like be, you build. Gotta be disciplined. Yeah, you build resilience. For sure. Um, so like last thing to end it off, a little okay, and then we'll go, go to something else real quick. What's the one thing you miss about home, South Africa? What do you think? South Africa, I miss all my family really? and the food. So good. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is it is it like it's obviously hot. Yeah. So yeah. Do you think you adjust to that a little more in comparison down here too? Do you think? Yeah, for sure. Really? Um, I like the. I like surfing and going to the oh, beach and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. So like, feels a bit different. Like I said, for me, mm-hmm. but I've actually been enjoying Definitely. learning like different things that I like that aren't my usual like scenery. You know what I'm that's saying? Right. Especially like the city, because I live two hours from the closest city where oh, I live in okay. Australia. Mm. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's move on to some real quick uh, fun rapid fire. I want, right. I want the people to get to know <laughs> Courtney Butley and Courtney Butley. So like, first question. Okay, you ready? All right, so what's one of the favorite places you've traveled to? Think? What's what's that favorite place? Bali, Indonesia. Bali, you been to Bali? Bali, bro? We yeah. were just, remember wanna, we were talking about how wanna, we wanted to. I want to go to Bali. It's like cheap to um yeah. like to get a hotel, whatever, a house, mm-hmm. whatever. Everything is. But the the, the, the plane ticket. Nah, the see, plane ticket from is where crazy. I live, it's only three hours, like really? flight. <laughs> yeah, Damn. we've been quite a few times. You, would I'm you say that's Christmas. one of our top? Like, that's mine. I it's like so beautiful. I don't really want to go anywhere, but if I had to go anywhere, it would be Bali. Bali's yeah. beautiful. I love Bali. I was like, we. I want to. I want to go here one day. Mm-hmm. Um, favorite food. What's your favorite food, real quick? Fried chicken. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I love. Like, I just love chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for sure. Um, pet peeve. Yeah, pet peeve, real quick. Um. Oh. <laughs> no, people that like just lie. I don't like people that lie. Just Lies. tell the truth. Liars. Just be honest. Even if the truth hurts, just be honest. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day. Okay. Favorite artist. Favorite artist. Oh, there's a few. It's one. You, you, gotta, you gotta pick one. I gotta can't pick one. one. Got to. I can't. All right, how, how many? Three. How many you need? 
Okay, can I get four? Four, okay. Because my music choice is very, like... You're really, in a, you're really into music, aren't you? Yeah. Same. Yeah, okay. same. Because, like, I listen to so much music because I'm like, one day I'm not going to be able to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, whenever you see me, I'm listening <laughs> to music. That's a good point. <laughs> like, For real, yeah. Like, all jokes aside, I'm being so serious. <laughs> wow. For sure. Yeah. So, what's, what's the four Um. Oh, Got to go different genres here. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, Drake's up there. Definitely. I also yeah. like Ghana... Okay. Young boy, okay. and I love Burner Boy. I love Afro beats. Same. I love Afro sure. beats. Let's see, you gotta pick one. Good taste. Pick one for this one. Oh, come on. Gotta pick one. Favorite genre. Favorite genre? No, sorry. You gotta pick one. Pass. Come on. Alright, alright. Complete the fifth. Okay, complete the fifth. Um, favorite movie? You got a favorite movie of all time? Uh, it's, it's a surfing movie. It's called Chasing Mavericks. Wait, I don't know if I've seen that. I don't know. Is it a Disney movie? I don't it's know. It's not a Disney movie. He's it's about this guy I've heard who like, of that. I've trains heard of that to like movie. surf the biggest wave in the world, and I've heard of that. Movie. He like, yeah, okay. it's just like it just teaches you a lot of lessons. Right. Like you can do anything you put your mind to, really. Definitely. But growing up, I used to watch that movie at least like once a week. Like, right. Did you see what's that penguin movie with the penguins that surf? Oh, yeah. surf up. That's surf's that's up. one of my that's favorite movies. Too. <laughs> no, that's, that's up there. Movie. That's up there. I was thinking that one. I was thinking that one. That was the movie I was thinking of, but there was a Disney movie that was. Surfing, no, Surf's Up is a cinematic masterpiece. Word. I love like, Surf's Up. <laughs> surf's Up's my movie. Um, would you rather be able to talk to animals or be fluent in every language? What do you think? Oh, maybe talk to animals. I reckon that would be kind of cool. I need to be fluent in every language. I feel like. Did we hey, ask going, this question? Going yet? international, not it's a new one. Um, going international. I don't know. That's a tough places. question. I know we we're I just short care on less time, about animals. but like, for real. I mean, I love animals. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. as far as like getting to know them, that's like, a tough I question. No, less. some days I'm to- I want to know what my dog's thinking. Really? Some days, <laughs> oh, like yeah. I would love to. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you on that. Um, uh, um, okay. Dream car. You got a dream car. Uh, just I want to own a Porsche one day. I want a fast car. Okay. <laughs> I like tough. speed. I really like facts, speed. Facts. I want a Ferrari. That's my dream. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. Don't, mm-hmm. don't, don't get me wrong. Um, all right. So last one, last one. I don't know. You don't have it. I don't know. You don't have it. We can go a different one. But um, I thought this was an interesting one. I, I asked my friends about this. Um, so there's a red button right here, right? Mm-hmm. You know. Oh if no, you, not if, this question. If you press, <laughs> just imagine. Oh, okay. I was like, there's no red <laughs> just, button. Just imagine, <laughs> just imagine. Just imagine. If you press the red button, right? Each time you get a million dollars, but somebody randomly in the world dies. Are you still pressing that red button? No. No? You feel like you'll be guilty after this, right? Yeah. Like Some people said they'll get the million dollars. Like, heck, that. Like, I don't, but listen, listen. I'm going to put a little twist to it. Every time a person dies, that does not exclude your family, friends, etc. Oh, it does not exclude? No. Oh, yeah. You didn't, no. you didn't specify. I'll take that risk. You like, didn't. Exactly. I don't think money money's what makes the world go around. For but sure. Being wealthy doesn't mean you have a lot of money. No. So. And people, I feel like people put too much value on money. Yeah. To For the point sure. where it may hurt somebody in the long run. You know For sure, I mean? yeah. So many families and stuff are, like, divided up by, like... Yeah, and it ruins, it ruins friendships. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I don't think it should be Yeah, nah. Sure. And just because you got money doesn't exclude having problems in the future. Yeah, no matter how much money you have money doesn't mean you have, like, class or, like... For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or money doesn't make a person. Where, yeah. you know. Um. Okay, so last one, last one. Okay. <laughs> where do you see yourself in five years? What's what's that end goal for you or, you know, short term, whatever? Where do you see yourself? You know what I mean? Where do you see yourself in five years? What are some of the different goals you have, you know? I'll be playing pro and I'll have my cafe at the same time. For that's sure. the that's the end goal. Definitely. Where yeah. at where at you think? I wanna open it in America because coffee's no offense, coffee's way better in Australia. Really? And I wanna like show you guys like good coffee. So Definitely. I wanna like import coffee beans. For sure. From like Australia and have like my mom I want her to make the like you know when you go into a cafe and they have a little like sweets yeah I want her yeah. to like make all her good stuff because mm-hmm. that woman can cook Word. I that's what's up <laughs> shout out mama duke shout yeah. out pops yeah. and all that so um you know that's it you know um I, I really appreciate you for coming on no, any, so any last words for people out there any last words any advice what's the what's the last word for Courtney uh last word yeah just be you and Get after your goals because no one's gonna, do, no one is gonna do it for you. Definitely, I love that. Yeah. For sure. Let's get a like round that. of applause real quick. Thank you. Like that. Appreciate you for coming you did, on. Uh, you have nerves. I don't know why, but you did. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah. sure right. So I appreciate you for coming on, and um, you know that's it. You know, um, like I said, um, previous episodes. If you want to come on here, I'm open to talking to anybody. You know what I mean? Um, because I definitely think this is something worthwhile for student athletes just to give them a platform. You know, that's that's it. You know, because I feel like not a lot of people get to know, you know, people like you 
or you know any other student athlete that's at any college. You know, so I feel like for that's sure. very important in national students, students in general. You know, because we go through a lot. You know, I'm gonna be honest. So like, you know, like I said, Courtney, I appreciate you for coming on. And, no, thank um, you so much. Thank you for coming on. Stay tuned for next episodes. Yeah, um, like, comment, share. Definitely, I'll be forgetting. Sure. That. So, <laughs> you know, let me know what you think. So uh, stay tuned for next episode. Appreciate you.